Welcome, adventurers, to Shifted Reality, Season 1, Episode 3. In this episode, me and my family finish up our Phase 2 exterior build and get ready to start moving in our chest monster. Now, as I look down upon the unfinished third level that I wasn't able to get to last episode, I can't help but think I took a wrong approach to this from the very beginning. Because instead of starting out at the very bottom on one side and building my way up and then working on the sides to try and mimic the style, but not really have it ultimately interconnected, I think what I should have done is I should have started in one corner with the plan of working, you know, doing this corner, doing the middle section, doing the middle section, doing that corner, doing the middle section, doing the next section, that corner, you know, and so forth and so on until I worked my way all the way around and then continued up. But as they say, hindsight is twenty twenty, and I just need two more sections of the long wall to finish up the lower level of this build. So let's get to that. And with that, we are running a little bit low on brick, so I think I am going to need it for the next section of what I'm going to be doing here, which is creating a way to get in and out of this that is not scaffolding, because let's face it, scaffolding breaks a little too easily. Now I know the question on everyone's mind is, where did I get all of this brick for this pattern to begin with? Well, for that, I'm going to need to go on a little bit of a secret journey because I promised I would not reveal the location of my source. And that portal brings us into this secret lair. I am standing on the work of the fellow server mates who have been putting together quite a collection of villagers to trade with. And I'm just going to trade some plain stone blocks for emeralds and then turn that emeralds into some brick. And yes, I have his permission to do this as long as I keep the location secret.
All right, and with that, I have all the bricks I need and to pay back Bias for letting me use his trading hall here, I am going to be picking up at least a little bit of the quartz that he's been trading for and the reason he has all of these. And with that, I'm taking the bricks I trade for, leaving a fair amount of quartz and my excess emeralds with the owner of the trading hall so that he can continue his own collection of his quartz and what he needs it for. I'm just going to give a quick sleep before I go so that I reset all of the villagers' trades in consideration. And with that, we are finally back home. Coming back with our load of bricks to continue our building. Now that we are all stocked up on our supplies, I'm going to kind of mess things up a little bit. Because whilst I want stairs in here, I don't want to put it in this main area because I want to save this for long-term storage as much as possible. So I'm going to put it in the corner on the outside. And in typical castle themed, it's going to be a circular staircase. So I'm going to need to kind of take away part of this wall a little bit. And there we have the base of our circular tower, which will lead into our spiral staircase, taking us all the way up to the top levels. Now, when you're considering a spiral staircase, there's a couple of things to keep in mind. One, since it takes eight stone or eight blocks to go all the way around a center pillar, you should always use slabs as it will look better. And the reason why it looks better is it will avoid having any plateau positions. 
Now the other thing you should try to avoid with a spiral staircase is any platform. So anytime you move forward one, you have to go up one. But you'll notice that this creates a little bit of a gap, especially if you're making it three wide like I'm planning to do here. I go forward one, but then here, where it's the step up for this. So we gotta bring this over here. So do we have a big platform here? Well, no, we don't want a platform here. So instead, we got to take that out. Now you notice this diagonal step, this is not going to be sustainable going around because of where I started this at. So I want to actually bring this whole thing forward by one block. Because the goal, sh the goal should be that you only have a platform at places that you want to have people getting off. I still don't got that quite right though. And there it is. As I was saying, you want to try to avoid having any large platforms on your steps, unless if you're at a spot or you're planning to get off on a specific level. I was just having a little trouble th rethinking this because last time I made one of these, it was a two by a two wide spiral staircase, not a three wide spiral staircase, like this one is. And here's another useful trick for walls. Because the wall block does not attach to the stair block, you can put it in here, set your blocks in between, and then now you have the arrow slit that is a typical defense in medieval fortresses and castles. giving you a nice little decorative event. I'm just gonna take a quick peek at the build so far with the camera account. Now I like the pattern between the indents and the arrow slits, but overall it's looking a little bit on the plain side to me. So I'm thinking somewhere right about, uh, let's see, maybe between the Second from the top arrow slits. I need to just add on to just make it pop a little better. Now that the floors are in, it's time to start trying to figure out how we're going to incorporate the upper level that attaches to our initial phase one build. As you can see, I've kind of extended out the arches a little bit so that they can be easier to attach and I have extended up currently up to Y level 125 on the ribs of the build I'm not sure if I'm going to go more than two stories on this I think with all the space we have in the basement I don't think we need to go particularly high on this you know as I'm trying to design this wall, I'm thinking there's something missing, and that is end stone. So I need to go to the end for the first time. Now the nice thing about being on a shared SMP server is I don't have to go looking for a stronghold because someone else already found it for me. Apparently, no one has listened to me about safety in the nether, 
And we're back to death bridges over lava lakes again. Alright, and right through here should be. Our stronghold. I honestly, I have no words for what they're doing here. Ah, the end dimension. Wait, what the heck? Someone tried to build a nether portal in the end? That doesn't work, does it? Yeah, no, that doesn't work. Alright, so uh, looks like they've killed the dragon just a couple of times. Should I collect the endstone from the Dragon Island, or should I head over through one of these portals they created? Alright, let's see what we got. Chorus fruit. I landed on a chorus fruit tree. Never know anything will be useful. Now, I don't know if I plan on making any visits to an end city. I suppose if I just happen to see one, I'll see one. But I don't have any real plans to pick up Elytra or Shulkers or do any kind of end busting here today. I just want to get some, just want to pick up some yellow stone. Well, I don't know how much I will actually be needing. I figure four stacks and a little bit extra is probably a good amount to start with. Plus, my pickaxe is getting a little bit weak. Any chance? I'll just take a real quick look around. Just maybe we're lucky and there just happens to be a city nearby. Alright, I am not that lucky. No entities within render distance, and I'm not really equipped anyway, so I am just going to head on back. And a short trip to the end later, we now have a nice contrast to the gray brick and red brick. Let's keep going. Oh yeah, this is really coming together. Now that we're getting close to finishing up the above ground portion of phase two build, I ended up running into a little bit of a problem here. So come up here to the second floor and this is only intended to be two floors tall the above here we're just going to have a roof access but I wanted to not have all just the plain square rectangular windows I wanted to try and have a little bit of an arch windows and I'm sure you can see the problem in what I initially did you can see here how the glass panes do not connect to the inverted stairs. 
So that means I need something to replace the inverted stairs with that the glass panes will connect to. And is about the same color as the spruce planks. And I can only really think of one solution here. Oh, and uh, don't mind this open spot. This is where we are going to be connecting out to phase three on two. There we go. How's that looking now? A little bit of the arch, not just plain rectangular windows. Well, some windows are plain rectangular, but others have a little bit more contrast to them. And overall, it is looking much better, except I apparently got some glass panes out of place. I'll clean those up in a second. While I was trying to finish this up quick, Bias Icewing was live streaming about 10,000 chunks outside of the normal base area, and the server admin was playing a trick on him, which I totally fell for. And with that, fellow adventurers, phase two expansion is finally complete, at least on the exterior. Obviously, we still need to move in all of our chest monsters, but that can be done over time, and our storage solution will adjust a little bit as we proceed. But I feel like maybe there's a little detail missing. I don't want to over detail the outside. But I feel like there needs to be a transition between the redstone and the yellow endstone. I do like it, but just something to get to blend a little bit better. Be right back. Oh yeah, that's how I like it. Let's just scan the building a little bit with our camera account. Look at the way that blends in with the naturally generated vanilla Minecraft terrain. Beautiful tower. Now, fun fact about the tower is I had to extend it up a higher than the actual building itself because my son tells me it's not a real castle without a real tower. But look how just that simple addition of the ladders helps blend the redstone into the yellowstone of the endstone. Wow, say that five times fast. But I love how that blends. I love the way it looks. We're getting a nice little thing. Well, dear adventurers, comment below if you have any thoughts on ways to improve the build or any feedback on this episode. Until next time, this has been another Shifted Reality.